I'm Lori Eaton here in the Betty Crocker Kitchens. I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful recipe by Shauna Ahern of GlutenFreeGirl.com. When you come to the holidays, do you want to just eat the same meal the same way you have for the last 26 years? Or do you want to mix it up a little bit and have new tastes? So this holidays, I think that Danny, my husband, and I will be serving this pork tenderloin stuffed with chorizo for our holiday dinners, at least for any big holiday gatherings we have because our friends love adventurous food. Shauna, I couldn't agree more. It's always great to switch it up, and your pork loin recipe is perfect for that. The first step to Shauna's recipe is to prepare the pork tenderloin for stuffing, and I'm going to butterfly and pound out the pork tenderloin. Butterfly is one of those cooking techniques that may sound a little intimidating first, but it's pretty simple. Have you ever had butterfly shrimp at a restaurant? You know, the shrimp is kind of open and split down the middle and, and open. That's all you're going to do with a piece of pork tenderloin. Here's how you do it. Simply cut down right through the middle about a half an inch from the bottom and what you're doing is you're opening up a pocket. Then you're going on each side to cut through another half inch and lay out your pork tenderloin. And this is starting to create a flat surface and then we're going to pound it out so it's all one thickness. Then you take the, that open tenderloin and could put it between two pieces of plastic wrap and take a meat hammer and pound it out as thin as you possibly can. You're going to roll the tenderloin so you don't want it to be its usual thickness. And it's kind of fun to take the meat hammer to the tenderloin. Pound, pound, pound. And now our meat is ready. It's beautiful, it's flat, and it's ready for stuffing. First we're going to season both sides. I'm going to flip it over. First some salt then some pepper, flip the side that we're going to stuff and season that as well. Then we're going to put the chorizo sausage down the center of the pork tenderloin. Chorizo, if you don't know, is actually a um, spicy kind of sausage meat. Originally it started in Spain and now there's Mexican chorizo, Spanish chorizo, Argentinian chorizo. It's a pork sausage with all kinds of spices, red chili powder, depends on where you are as to what the um, makeup of the chorizo is. Now I'm just going to roll the pork tenderloin and truss it up with some twine. Give yourself plenty of twine when you do this. I like to look at the seam as I truss to make sure that it's shut all the way. Simply tie a knot at the top. You're going to hold about one inch down, place the string under the pork. With your finger underneath, you pull the string under and then go over. And you work your way down the pork tenderloin doing the same step. If you did not trust the tenderloin with the ch stuffed chorizo, then eventually it might just kind of flop open and the chorizo would fall out and it would get unevenly brown and it would be a very unattractive piece of meat. I'm going to sear off the pork tenderloin now. We have an oven safe skillet set it high and I'm adding just a little bit of olive oil and then we're going to put it in and let it brown two minutes on each side. Gently lay the tenderloin into the pan. To check to see if your meat's ready to turn, you can simply pull it up if it sticks, it's still not ready to turn. It takes a couple of minutes for the one side to brown. But what happens is you're building flavor by searing the meat. And you're going to get a crisp crust on the outside and tender on the inside. Okay, it's ready to turn because it's coming off the bottom. It's nice and brown. Take that skillet and slide it right into the oven. And you want to cook it until it reaches an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So the pork tenderloin has come out of the oven, it's 160 degrees, and now I'm just going to remove the twine before I start slicing it. And as you'll see, our twine held together our meat beautifully. And now I'm cutting the meat on the bias. It makes for a great presentation. And now you can see the chorizo is cooked inside, and it looks gorgeous on the plate. And now I'm going to finish this off with some ginger lime marmalade. The marmalade is a perfect combination with the spiciness of the chorizo inside of the pork. You have the chorizo with a little bit of spice, you have the meatiness of the pork, and then you have slight sweetness of a marmalade with a little bit of sour as well. Oh, such a great combination. You get to sear, you get to roast, and you get to wow your guests. Shauna, this is a perfect recipe. I'm definitely adding it to my repertoire. And I hope you guys try it at home and let us know what you think. Get more tips and recipes from the Betty Crocker Kitchens at BettyCrocker.com.